Hello, and welcome to Pooh Corner. Here I am in Pooh Corner with, you know what? It's just me and the Pooh Corner animals. I'm gonna take my mask off, okay? So good to see you all. You know what? Let's sing our welcoming song. Do you remember how that goes? We're gonna sing hello friends. We can say, hello, Friends, it's time to say hello. Can you sing that with me? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And here, Pooh Corner is on Treaty 6 territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis. And I wanted to remind you that we are all treaty people. Today, our story time is about the longest night or the shortest day, kind of the beginning of winter, isn't it? And there's lots of great stories about that. Our first story is called Toys Meet Snow. Toys Meet Snow. Do you take your toys out in the snow? It's not always a good idea, is it? Not, not lots of toys are made to be out in the snow. Shovels, yes. And this one, the story is titled Being the Wintertime Adventures of a Curious Stuffed Buffalo, a Sensitive Plush Stingray, and a book-loving rubber ball. Hmm, those are unusual toys. This story is by Emily Jenkins, and the pictures are by Paul O. Zielinski, and is published by Schwartz and Wade Books in New York. Lumpy is a stuffed buffalo. Stingray is a pla stingray, and plastic is a rubber ball. She can't help but that her name doesn't match her body. They all belong to the little girl, but she has gone away on winter vacation. Hmm. It is the first snowfall of the year. And there they are looking out the window. Why does it decide to snow, asks Lumpy. Because the clouds are sad and happy at the same time, says Stingray. She's more poetic than factual. No, it's what the rain becomes when the temperature is freezing, says Plastic. I read about it in the book. Oh, let's go out, says Lumpy. I'm curious. Yes, said Stingray. It's beautiful. Snow, 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 says Plastic Bouncing. I've read about it, but I've never touched it. I need a hat, says Lumpy. He is often cold. Hmm, that looks kind of like a mitt, doesn't it? Well, it would work perfectly well for a hat, wouldn't it? I need a plastic bag, says Stingray. She's dry clean only. Poke me some air holes. I don't need anything, shouts Plastic. She just goes natural. That's fair. I would throw a rubber ball out in the snow, right? And so, oh, look at this. They're trying to get out. And Plastic is bouncing on the door and with no small amount. And look, they're trying to climb up on top of Plastic and falling down and with no small amount of effort. Oh, look at that. Finally, Lumpy manages to grab it and Stingray sticks under the edge and they get the door open. How are they going to get it closed? The toys go out into the snow. Oh, look, they don't even close it. They just leave it open. And of course, the family isn't home. Hmm. Is that a different tree? Asks Lumpy. It looks like a different tree than before the snow came. It's turned into a candy tree, says Stingray. It tastes like peppermint. Nope, it's the same tree, says Plastic. I recognize the branches. 
She pays attention to the details, doesn't she? Oh, what do you think our snow is exactly? Asks Lumpy. It's a blanket of peace over the world, says Stingray. No, it's frozen water, says Plastic. I read about it in a book. She really does read a lot of books, doesn't she? I, I mean, what is a snowflake, asks Lumpy. A snowflake is a tiny ballerina, says Stingray. If you look closely, you can see it dance. No, it's really just tiny frozen water, says Plastic. I, I read that too. It is not, what are they doing? Too, not, not easy to build a snowman. Oh, and look, plastic is gonna be the head. That would be hard if you didn't have hands, but they seem to have got it together. Snow angels are easier. Oh, look at this. Whose one is this? I think that one's Lumpy's. And this one here, it looks kind of like a fish. That must be. Stingray, right? Oh, but look, all plastic can do is bounce. It still makes an angel. Lumpy finds icicles on a fence. And Stingray finds a puddle that is frozen solid. Oh, it's gonna go skating. Plastic finds a forgotten sled at the top of a hill. Oh, let's go sledding. Oh, he's managing, his plastic's managing to stick on as well. The day begins to fade. That's the thing about the shortest day of the year, isn't it? The night moves down very quickly. What is a sunset? Asks Lumpy. It's strawberry syrup pouring over all the world to make it sweet before nightfall, explains Stingray. That's kind of a neat explanation, isn't it? And it's so beautiful. Plastic doesn't say anything. She's thinking. Brr, I'm cold, says Lumpy. My tail is wet, complains Stingray. Her bag is leaky. They poked holes in it. Snow, 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 cries Plastic. I'm a strawberry syrup sun in the snow. Oh, look at that. It just matches those colors. Isn't that beautiful? Inside, the house is dry and warm. Outside, the tiny ballerinas have made a blanket of peace over the world. The strawberry syrup sun has gone down. And yes, the world is sweet. Wasn't that a fun day of this story? Mm, strawberry syrup sun. Well, let's just do a little review of what we saw in this story. Because that was a fun story, wasn't it? It was about the toys going outside. So let me see if I can cut this out for you. So first of all, they climbed up and lumpy kind on top of plastic and they, they pushed the door open. So let's do the push the door open here. And then they went out in the snow and they saw a tree, but the tree didn't look like it used to. So let's cut out a little tree here. What did they do next after that? They saw the tree and then, oh, they made a snowman and plastic got to be the head. And let's see if I can do a snowman. There was a ball on the bottom and a ball in the middle and plastic on the top. That was fun. But it was harder to make that than snow angels. Oh, right. Then they made snow angels. Let's see if we can do snow angels. Snow angels, but they were all different snow angels, weren't they? Because they couldn't each make them the same. There's a snow angel. And then Lumpy climbed the fence. What did Stingray do? Stingray went sliding on the pond.
And plastic slid down the hill on the sled. Oh, that was a fun thing. And then they watched the sunset together, didn't they? Sunset, let's see if we can do a sunset. The bright red sunset, like a, what other was that? Beautiful red sunset. And then it was cold, so they went back indoors. And let's see what we have here. Look at this. And there is our snowflake about the day. Now for even more fun, here's Natasha with our craft. Hello, I'm going to show you what the craft part of our Take and Make looks like. Uh, I'm in this room all by, my, all by myself, so I'm going to take my mask off. And I have my Take and Make pick here. So you might have picked one of these up uh, at one of your branches for the Take and Make. And if not, a lot of the supplies might be things you have around home. So let's see what I got in mind. So each kit has a little uh, instruction sheet that tells you what you have inside and um, some book suggestions, which is really nice. And some tissue paper. Maybe you can guess what we're making. Here's a pretty good hint. This is all slippery. This is parchment paper some streamers, some yarn, pipe cleaners, glue, and scissors. So what we're going to be making is a sun catcher that you can put up in a window and watch the light come through. And we're gonna be making it in the shape of a sun. So the first piece I would start with is this one. If you have your sun outline and your scissors, and just cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes if you go nice and slow, it's easier. Some people like to go faster. If you go really gently, you can even use your fingers if you don't have scissors and tear around the edges. Here's my sun cut out. I have my scrap pieces to the side. And now what I'm going to do is I need to get the center out. So there's a few different ways you can do that. But I think the easiest way is just to fold this in half. So if you fold them in half, you can take a pencil and cut a little half circle. Or you can just take your scissors and cut out a circle with it. So you only have to do half the circle because it's folded, it's gonna give you the other half. And it's okay if it's not perfect. So this is the circle I got out, which means what I'm left with is the sun that we can peek through, which means that the light, when we put this up, hang it up or put it in our window, we'll be able to shine through too. And the part we're going to use to glue to now is the parchment paper. So now I'm going to take my glue stick right here and I'm just going to glue the sun onto this parchment paper because the parchment paper will look see-through when you shine a light through it. Oh, we have the purple glue. That's always fun. So you can choose if you want the black side up or the plain yellow side up. The outlines, I'm gonna leave the black outline side up. 
And the fun thing about this project is you can really do whatever you want. If already yours is looking different, that's great. Then it's your own unique sun. This is just one way we can do it. So I'm just making sure I can see glue on all of these little points or the rays of the sun, I guess. And then I'm going to glue this down. And you could have glued it down first and then cut it, but I think this will work really good. And now I'm just gonna cut out the extra parchment paper. You might have to stick your glue down a little bit. The thing about parchment paper is sometimes it doesn't like being glued to. It's meant to make things not stick, right? tell which one is yours very easily add a bit more glue to these points underneath and now we have the sun shape with the parchment paper on the back so now we have our tissue paper this one's really pretty good Got a bit of an ombre orange and yellow together. Streamers, ribbon, and pipe cleaners. And we can do whatever we want with these. I think what I wanna do is make a little handle on the top of mine with one of these pipe cleaners in case I wanna hang it up for a decoration. So we can do that at the end. But I'm gonna start now just by ripping up some of this tissue paper. You could use your scissors too if you want, but sometimes ripping is really fun. And you'll probably have some leftovers and that's okay. And you can glue this on the front or on the back of your sun catcher. I think I'm gonna do a little bit on the back and a little bit on the front. So I'm gonna put a nice yellow piece here and I'm gonna get some of this orange color too, because that's gonna look really pretty. And I'm just gonna keep layering these colors and see what it looks like. You could glue down ribbon here if you want to, or some of the streamer, or if you happen to have um, yarn like I do, you can put your yarn here. You make your pieces big or small. It's completely up to you. There. So already you can slightly see when I hold it back. I can see some of the colors starting to shine through here on the back. And we can also put a few on the, on the front. We're just gonna wanna be careful that we don't put too many layers. So I think what I'm going to do with some of my yarn is I'm gonna cut it up smaller. I have some longer pieces. And I'm gonna make my sun even shinier. So I'm gonna open these back up. I'm gonna put a bit extra glue on the parchment paper and the back of the sun. And I'm gonna stick a piece of yarn in here and see if it stays. 
add another little ray of, of light coming off there. And I'm just gonna alternate my colors between orange and yellow. But you can do whatever you want. If you have a foam piece in yours, you could glue on top of the, the sun piece and add more decorations there. That would work too. Or you could cut out little mini suns, tiny, tiny little suns and have them on there. And maybe you have some stuff lying around your house that you wanna add, you can do that too. another yarn color here, so I'm going to add some of those. one. You could also write on top of the yellow part here of the sun things that you love about winter or changing seasons. That would be a great one too to celebrate the solstice, which is what we call the shortest day. There, and I've added some extra rays of, of sunshine with the ribbon to it. So I still have some leftover materials. I could add some more if I want, or I can save this for another creative project later. Um, but what I want to do before I go any further is if you're very careful, or you can ask a grown up, we can use the scissors or you can use a pen, which would be much safer. And you can poke a little hole in the end if you want. So I'm just using the very end of my scissors. This would be a job for a grown up. And the reason I'm doing that this time is so I can use this pipe cleaner and make a little spot for it to hang up. I'm just twisting the ends of the pipe cleaner together. And now I can hang up my sun catcher. I would love to see how yours turn out. I hope you have a lot of fun making this and you find your own special ways to celebrate the shortest day, the solstice. I just wanted to show you one more thing. I just went and found a flashlight so that you can have a better idea of how the light can shine through the parchment paper. You can see some of those colors coming through. So if you put this up in a window, you'd be able to see the sun shine through all these colors. And of course, if you glued yours on the front, it would look more like this. See? So you can glue it to either side. And that's how the sun gets caught in the sun catcher and gets caught in the sun catcher. Well, thank you all for joining us for our story time and craft. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Do you remember how to sing the goodbye song? We say goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Should we sing that? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. And goodbye to all of you. <laughs>